Hi, welcome to Sounder Sisterhood. I'm Carrie, and this is a YouTube channel for the single and childless, not by choice person. Our video today is single and childless, not by choice eras, part two. A few months ago, I did part one where I talked about the different phases that you go through as you're navigating being single and childless, not by choice. And I got some feedback on some phases or eras that I missed, and so I'm following it up today with part two. The first era is grief era. Now, as you're going through grief, you may never get out of this era completely, although it will change and fluctuate as different things around you change, as you start to do more work around it, and as time goes by. This is a very difficult era. I, again, I don't know that we're ever completely out of it, but it does move maybe from a capital G to a lowercase g, and then it can flip back and forth, again, depending on what's going on in your life. If you are in an acute or an intense phase of grief right now, you're not alone. And I don't want to tell you that it will get better in a way that's kind of minimizing or devaluing your experience. And the way you feel today is not going to be how you feel the rest of your life. So when the feelings get really, really tough and things can feel really, really hopeless, I want you to remember that, that you are not alone and the way you feel today will not be how you will feel for the entirety of the rest of your life. And when you're in this phase, it sucks hard. So if you need some community or support, um, there's lots of different childless, not by choice accounts that you can follow uh, on uh, YouTube or also on social media. So consider um, exposing yourself uh, to being around other people who have been or are going through what you're going through. Number two, the left out era. This is really uh, speaks to friendships change, your own perspectives can change, family relationships can change. You know, as you get older and the people around you start to partner off and have children, it definitely impacts people's availability, uh, their mutuality, what you have in common. All of these things impact how we see ourselves and who we uh, are able to be around in terms of who's available, right? You know, when you are single and childless, not by choice, it doesn't mean you have all the free time in the world. It does not mean that, no matter what anybody tells you. Those of us in this world know that. But you may have more availability to go out and do something, let's say on a Wednesday night, right? Or even on the weekends. And your friends, or family members who have kids, that time may get filled up doing other things. And so people become left available and it can feel isolating and lonely. And it can feel like you're left out of these milestones that everybody around you is going through, whether that's first day of school or soccer games or football games, things like that. So if you're feeling left out and you're feeling like you're in your left out era, again, you are not alone and seek community because you're not the only one. For number three, the what now era, right? This is, okay, I think I've moved through some of the grief where I'm able to feel some hopefulness about the future, but I never considered a life where I was single and childless, not by choice. So I have no idea what that looks like. And when I look at people around me my age, most of them have kids or are partnered. And so I don't see a lot of people who are single and childless, not by choice. So it's unclear to me what people are doing uh, who are in this space. And this is where getting involved in community can be really helpful because there are those of us who we're going to work, we're doing the chores, we're doing all the busy work, uh, but we're also engaging with each other. We may be traveling, we may be um, joining book clubs and getting engrossed in the new books or being able to go out to different restaurants or appetizer hours or happy hours. Um, I say appetizer hours just because I know some people don't drink. Um, and so I want to be inclusive because I think that's important. Uh, and there are other things to be doing. And it can feel like 
you're not and that those things aren't available. So I want you to think about what are all the options that you have. Even if you're not sure who you're going to do them with, I want you to consider it. And then remember, there's communities out there. For example, you know, Sandra's sisterhood came to be because it was three of us who were single and childless, not by choice. We met each other on the Internet um, just because of this common uh, status that we have. And we decided we wanted to create this community. And we live literally in three different areas of the world. Uh, two of us are in the United States and one of us is currently in Korea. So while it may feel like there's nobody around you, there are people and with the internet and Zoom and things like that, there are ways to be able to connect with people even if they're not in your direct city. So the three er eras, that you can expect to go through and it's okay if you're going through them because we all go through these eras and you're not alone. The grief era, the feeling left out era, and the what now era. So if you wanna check out part one of the eras video, I'll uh, link it at the end of this video and continue to watch some additional videos from Sandra Sisterhood to talk about grief, coping, what now, and community.